part museum, part restaurant and bar, and a complete step back in time to the days of the Old West. Hi there, I'm outside a Denver landmark. The Mile High City is home to the Buckhorn Exchange, established in 1893, and this is Denver's oldest restaurant. Inside, we'll find a lot of taxidermy, a lot of history, and some very distinctly Colorado menu items. Let's check it out. We have great pride in the fact that it's truly a Denver institution, and we take that responsibility very seriously to maintain, keep it open, keep it available to people, and in the meantime, run a great restaurant. Over 500 pieces of taxidermy cover the walls, around 150 different species. I'll be staring back at you. Moose, a collection of antelope, and an eight-foot Kodiak bear. Almost all the animals are well over 85 to 100 years old. Most of them were, uh, were shot by the family who ran the place from 1893 to 1978. Some were taken on a safari that uh, the Shorty Scout who started this restaurant went on with Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, you heard that right, Teddy Roosevelt. So let's rewind and provide a little history. The Buckhorn Exchange has liquor license number one in the state of Colorado. It was founded by a man dubbed as Shorty Scout, a name given to him by Native American chief Sitting Bull. A lot of the Indian artifacts we have were given by the Sioux to Shorty for his longtime friendship and support of the Native Americans in the Sioux Nation. The Buckhorn Exchange was initially created to service railroad employees in Denver and eventually drew a number of celebrities. In the old days, we have people like Bob Hope and Jimmy Cagney. We've had five different presidents here, most recently Jimmy Carter. Now to the menu. It pays homage to what people in Colorado ate in the early Plains days. Buffalo, elk, rattlesnake, and quail, plus the infamous Rocky Mountain oysters are a few staples. Try the duck breast appetizer. It's a lavender and pepper rubbed duck breast served with raspberry Zinfandel sauce. Their most popular entree is the buffalo and elk combination. Both grilled tenderloins with a number of sauces to pair depending on the day. And if you're feeling more traditional, the big steak. It's their signature beef dish. This serves anywhere from two to five people, carved table side with sauteed mushrooms and onions, carnivore's dream. What it's about mainly is the number of people who either live here or come to visit Denver, have friends and family out of town. Somebody says, where's a local place? Where's some place that speaks of Denver? That's us. This place is really cool, truly a taste of Colorado's history and a definite Mile High must. For more Mile High must, you can visit 5280.com, thedenverchannel.com, and as always, download our free Denver 7 app on your streaming device. For Mile High Must, I'm Katie LaSalle. See you next time.